Hi friend. Friends? So remember back when I did that model shopping haul with Sean and he took a look at my closet and threw out some old stuff and we brought some new things to the forefront? That's what my video is going to be about today. All those clothes that I thought were dead or non-model type clothing, I'm going to show you today because this is like my wardrobe revival. So first up is this tie-dye shirt right here. It's got kind of a watery blue up here, and then it's got red stripes down here. This is actually one of my favorite shirts. It kind of looks like the American flag. But when I was looking at my closet, I thought this is kind of like tacky. It looks kind of old. It's a little oversized. So I thought, okay, I probably shouldn't wear this. It doesn't look that fashionable. But Sean was saying, no, it's kind of the opposite. You should be wearing this because it's so almost like retro. And obviously it stands out a lot. So I should definitely use this piece in conjunction with other layers or maybe use this without any layers and make this the center of attention and create looks from that based off of this loud piece. Okay, next up we have this hat from Collar. Got you guys. So this hat here, it's kind of got like a wooly type material. It's really thick. It's actually really stretchy. And the front here says Collar. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty subtle. K-O-L-L-A-R. So I got this at the Collar event that I went to in Toronto probably about a month or two ago, and they were giving it away for free, so I got this while I was in line paying for my black denim collar jacket. And initially, I was like, okay, cool, I've always wanted a collar hat, but I don't know if I wanted this one, because I don't know if I like the material that much. I wouldn't say it looks tacky, but maybe it's a bit too, like, kind of frayed material than I would want it. I would want a more subtle wool material. But Sean was saying to me, you know, you can wear this with different looks. For example, this shirt right here. I could wear it with pieces that maybe have similar colors or similar designs. In fact, I can wear it with my next piece, which I'll show you now. So this is a wool kind of poncho type sweater. It's pretty baggy. It's got pocket on the front, these two straps, which do absolutely nothing. And it's got a hood, but I don't really wear the hood because it's like pretty pointy up top. So I kind of get nervous to wear this in public sometimes. But overall, it's really warm, kind of that rough poncho material. I don't know what you'd call that. But I thought it didn't look, you know, high fashion enough to wear. So I was kind of putting it off and saying, I probably will just donate this. And he said, no, keep it. It looks really cool. He thinks I could wear it, you know, with layers or different things like that. I can fix the hood so it's not so pointy. And I think he really liked the color scheme. I think that's why he wanted me to keep it so bad. So I'll probably be wearing this with a jacket. Probably not on its own. I don't know if I like it enough to be just by itself. But catch me in the future wearing this. Next up we have my Reese's sweater. So I got this on a family trip to New York. We went to the Hershey factory and this was one of the sweaters. I thought it was really cool so I got it. That was at least like, I want to say five years ago. And it's really cool. I mean, the color scheme, I don't mind. I think neon's coming back into uh, fashion, so this would be a good pick for that. Very simple, just like super plain hoodie, nothing crazy. But to me, it looked really kitty. It looked kind of, not tacky, but just like, almost like a graphic tee, but with chocolate sweaters, you know? Like it was kind of phased out. And Sean said to me, hey Mark, you should keep that because first of all, neon's coming back in, so that's good. And it's also kind of just one of those pieces that's really extra, but you can turn it into something good for yourself that will look fashionable. This one right here, this is my Battle at the Capitol National Champions jacket. So I was on the cheer team at Western and we went to Battle at the Capitol, which is in Maryland in the States. And we had a competition against Virginia Tech and we won. So we won these jackets and on the back it says Battle at the Capitol. And this is pretty retro looking. It's very nice fit to be honest. Nice pockets on the inside here. Just like a regular kind of, I don't know, varsity jacket. The colors are really cool. That's probably one of the best parts. Just all black, little bits of blue and white with uh, purple accents on the buttons and stuff. Pretty fun, pretty retro. I like it. Now I wasn't gonna throw this out, but I didn't think that it was very modely. Then Sean said, yes it is. Bring it out, wear it. It's very fashionable, very out there, very cool. Yeah. This is my last item here. It is a black, or I guess I would say gray leopard print hat. Uh, snapback, or I guess strap back. It's got the Velcro. This one's also pretty out there. I thought it was a little bit too extra, and to be honest, I'm not sure why I bought it in the first place. I think it might've been like five or 10 bucks. That's probably why. But pretty loud, pretty kind of out there. I didn't really want to wear it after I bought it. I wore it maybe twice. I think it might have been a little too extra for me at the time. So I said to Sean, I don't know if I want to wear this. I don't know if it's that cool. And he said, yes, definitely wear it. It's definitely one of those pieces that are similar to the jacket, kind of retro, kind of like cartoony almost, but you could definitely pull off a look with it if you piece it together correctly. 
And that's it. So I'm definitely excited to wear these clothes again. Feeling good that I don't have like zero fashion sense. I'm definitely gonna be paying attention to my closet more and seeing which pieces I can, you know, create different looks with or do something different that no one else has done before. Because I definitely overlook a lot of my pieces and I want to be able to use everything in my closet to create the most amount of looks possible. Hopefully though, that they all look good. So maybe you guys should check out your closet just in case you have that one piece that you may have overlooked and bring it back. See if you can create a look with it. Maybe start a new trend. I don't know, that's pretty hard but you could do it if you wanted to. Okay, bye now.